Hey everybody, welcome back to the second video in the high-low series. Uh, in this one, we're going to do some of the game logic, and we'll get the game kind of working. Uh, and we'll also do a little bit of optimizing in our loop, okay? So, let's go ahead and uh, first change the menu, because I looked at it in the last video, and I said to myself, ah, I can make this menu a bit better. So I'm going to say high roll of 8 to 12 for bet times 2. And I'm going to copy that, put that there, and I'm going to move that and I'm going to change this to 2, 6. And I'm also going to say 7 roll for bet times 3. Okay, good. So it's a little more explicit. Uh, down here, this first part, it's all good. Everything will leave the loop if we do that. The second, though, LF is where all the game is really going to happen based on our choices. And we're going to complete this section, and then we're going to fix it up a little bit, and we're going to make it prettier. Uh, so first thing I want to do is, based on the roll, I want to tell the user what they rolled. So I'm going to say, you rolled a and string roll. Okay. Uh, then based on what they roll I want to do one of three things uh, if it's a high roll uh, if it's a low roll a seven roll or actually four things sorry or you didn't you didn't roll it then you lose your money okay so the first thing is the high roll so if the roll is greater than seven or the choice or sorry and the choice is equal to one then print, you win, and cash is equal to cash plus five. So uh, I'm gonna give the, I wanna change this here. I don't wanna put five, I actually wanna put bet. And what I wanna do is I wanna make a variable called bet and is equal to five. Uh, so right now, actually all the bets are gonna be equal to five every bet we make but in the coming videos I'll set it up so that we can make a bet of any amount as long as we have that amount of money okay and I'm actually gonna copy this line because what we're about to do next is very similar and I'm gonna say if roll is less than seven and choice is equal to two you still win and you still get the same amount and I don't want it to be an if statement I actually want it to be an elif statement Okay, um, and once again, I'm going to copy this, and I'm going to say L if roll is equal to 7 and choice is equal to 3, then you win, but this time it'll be bet times 2. Okay, so... Let's see, bet times 2, yep. So if you, what, well, you're probably wondering like, why am I not doing, I said bet times two up here, right? So why isn't this bet times two? Well, it kind of is your, your bet times two. You have to take your money out in order to bet. So if I have $100 and I take five out and I bet five, I get 10 back if I win. Uh, in this case, if I take five out, I bet I will get, um, I'll get a total of 15 back because it includes my original bet. So that's why this is two and these are singles. So I hope that makes sense. Uh, for example, if all you have is $5 and you bet $5 and you double your bet times two, that means you now have $10. So you actually are, you're back to your original amount. Uh, you have your original amount plus the five rather. So you have 10, not 15. Okay, um, the last thing that could happen is you lose. So we print you lose and your cash is equal to cash minus the bet okay so right now this this program should actually work uh, so let's go ahead and make sure it works and let's run it okay so we run and we're gonna place our bet let's place a high roll bet uh, you rolled a six and you lose, so I lost. Okay, let's try high again. And oh, I lost again. Okay, uh, try again. High, 
Man, all right, I better go low because it seems to be really liking low right now. Ah, oh, now it rolls an eight. Uh, let's try rolling. Oops. Let's try. Let's try putting in a number, and it's not. Ah, enter a valid choice. Okay, let's bet a seven. Ah, I'm still losing. I'm losing like crazy. Uh, I got. I gotta get some winning here. Yeah, I win, and I lose, and I win, and I lose, and I lose. Okay, good. So in this case, I'm winning and I'm losing just like I, I should. All right, uh, so let's go, let's go back here. And before we go on to the next part uh, where we give the user the chance to bet what they want, let's clean this up and let's, let's make this a little, a little nicer. So the first thing I wanna clean up is actually this. And this works, but there's a better way to do it. And it, it uses the in statement that we saw when we dealt with lists. And it works like this. Instead of writing choice a whole bunch of times, I can put all the possible choices it could be, like so, inside of a list. And you might be wondering why I didn't change this to an integer. Well, if I change it to an integer, I have to use a try and accept, and that just kind of expands it even more than I need to. So I'll just keep it all as strings, and it works just as well. Okay, so the next thing in here that I could fix is down here. We notice that this and this have the exact same information inside of it. So what I do is I actually I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it right here. And I'm going to put both of these in parentheses. And I'm going to use an or statement to capture both of these. So if roll, so what it does is it looks at this part here and it calculates this. If this is true or this is true, then it will tell me that I won. If this is false and this is false, then I don't win. Okay. And I can get rid of this now. And I can pull this up just a little bit. Okay. And the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, instead of having that extra line there, I'm just going to put plus equals and minus equals and get rid of that. Okay, so I just trimmed the code up. I made it look a little bit prettier. Uh, but as you can see, oops, I got to actually put that on the same line, I believe. There we go. Uh, as you can see, it won't actually uh, change the gameplay. Oh, look, now I'm winning. Oh, nice. I actually got a seven. Oh, I lost. And I lost. And I lost. And I win again. Okay. So, the game works. And we have the basic game logic done. Uh, the next video, I'm going to add the ability for the user to place their own bets. And then in the last video, I'm going to I'm going to put some nice little options using lists up here, which is going to keep track of all the previous rolls, so that you can see all the previous rolls for the last 10 or 15 rolls or something like that. Okay, so looking forward to seeing the next video for the uh, user making their own bets, and then we'll have one more video after that. And if, as always, if you have questions or something, leave it on the website or in the YouTube comment section. So thanks for watching and see you soon.